What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. In this one, I kind of want to go back to Freeside and do that whole quest line for uh, the king. Uh, I think it's called GI Blues. Uh, but in order to do that, we have to actually go and backtrack or whatever. Uh, because I kind of don't want to proceed too much farther without doing some of the quests, the side quests or whatever. Because uh, by doing so, I essentially... Uh, We'll, we'll finish the game before we experience some of the other things in this game. So let's go ahead and go back and do that. But if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Alrighty. Uh, who was this anyways? Oh, this was uh, <laughs> the guy that was trying to recruit me for the Legion. Nah, bruh. I ain't about that life. So let's go ahead and... Uh, go back this way i want to say it's over here new vegas strip and then we go over there i do gotta say man leather armor in this game looks fantastic all right this should be it right here another thing we should do at some point is go back to route 188 or whatever Ooh. and uh at bare minimum, pick up, uh, what's her name, uh, Veronica, and send her to the Lucky 38. It should be right at the end of this road. Now, let me check real quick. Do I even have it? Yeah, GI Blues. Hire a guard named Otis. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, that's, we have to go to the other side, huh? This is the King's member, yep. This is a long track we have to go literally to the opposite side of the entire building i mean uh, of the entire city excuse me so this is where we started the quest lines at the kings or whatever but we got to go to the other side of freeside that's such a weird thing to say the other side of freeside for all your shopping needs. why is a kid telling me where to shop look bruh you don't even know what shopping is all right you don't know the value or the responsibility to have money. Alright. Otis should be right here. What's up, homeboy? If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. I need your safety, match. Uh, man, how much is, uh, for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. You know what? Do I not have the money? Uh, 200 caps? You gotta be out of your mind, dude. That's twice as much as everybody else around here. Hey, you want the best? You have to pay for it. I don't have that kind of money, man. You want the best? You have to be prepared to pay for it. Well, <laughs> I need to go get some money. Uh, can you sell? Hello? Can I? Can I sell you, you something? Grub. I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Uh, no. I need to find a vendor. Let's go to Milk, Milk, Mick and Ralphs. Not Milk and Ralphs. Uh, let's go to Mick, Mick. Fuck, I can't say Mick for some reason. I keep wanting to say Milk. Am I hungry or something? Like what the hell? Let's go to Mick and Ralphs and see if we can uh. Sell them some stuff. Because I really, really need... How much was it? 200 caps? Let's go sell them uh, some of the excess ammo that I have. What the hell happened to this dude? What the fuck is going on right here? <laughs> um, Alrighty. You hang in there, bro. Oh. Mick and Ralph's. All right, Mick. I need to talk to you about some. Oh wait, actually, Ralph. Hey, what can I get you? Um, uh, what do you have in stock? Take a gander. Absolutely. How much caps do I have? I have six caps. My God, dude. All right, let's sell seven. I uh, will sell them all of that. Definitely sell them all of that. I'm a laser build, so I'll sell them all of. Dude, I'm selling them all the ammo. I don't even care. Is that all the ammo I have? 
Um. All right, let's sell the grenades. I'm keeping that because that definitely. Here, I'll sell them that. You can have all of these. Do I have? Is that more than two hundred? All right, you know what? I don't care. Another satisfied customer. Come back anytime. Will do, sir. Thank you very much. I lost a little bit of caps, but hey, you hey. know what? Tomato, tomato. Now let's go back and hire that freaking guy before I blow his brains out. But then the king might not be so happy with me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, make friends instead of enemies, right? Look at that freaking skeever. That looks disgusting. And those ridiculous little kids just chasing it. That's disgusting. Where are those kids' parents anyways? Or are they homeless? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if... It's either bad parents or they're homeless. It is the wasteland after all. Listen, you, I got your 200 caps. I knew you'd be back. Ready to hire the best? Uh, yes. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. No yes, ma'am. 200 freaky caps, dude. I had to blow your brains out just for that. Follow orders to the south gate and watch out for any suspicious behavior. Sounds good. I should probably have my pistol out just in case this Your guy wants to act up. The old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Oh, you good, that good to know. Their services. Oh, you're that much of a About badass, huh? The next block is where the king's hanging. Come to Nick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Well, he definitely uh, should have spoke a little faster. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesong until you've been to the Wrangler. <laughs> what if I don't want to see the Wrangler? Have you ever thought about that, o Otis? Or Oris, or whatever the hell your name is? Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Yes, ma'am. Because this dead body doesn't ring any bells or anything like that, right? I hope you're ready to get down and dirty, Oris or Otis. What is it, Otis or Oris? I don't even know. Look, why is he running ahead? What the fuck? He just got like a... He took a shot of jet. Wow, he's got great shots. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Actually, this is true. Hey, you only fired three shots, and there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Bullshit. Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up a uh, repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Um. After you? Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Hold on, let me let me look at these guys. Uh, Thug Lie still a victim of your recent fight. You could swear there's something odd about the corpse, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Medicine third year grade. Oh, fuck, man. I wish there was like a perception thing. Do I. What's, where's my medicine at? Uh, skills. Medicine 22. Even with anything, I wouldn't be able to do much with that. Oh, well. It's all good. Let's go. Well, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing. Or else. Shut up, dude. Or else. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Let's go. Boone, I hope you're ready. This guy's a fishy, fishy person. What's my mission anyways? Um, return to the king and report what you've learned about Oris. The king is not gonna be happy. I wouldn't be surprised if the king's men end up killing him. But hey, you know what? 
they're operating he's operating illegally in enemy in well technically they're not really enemies they're just running and conducting business but he's doing it in the wrong territory if you will all right let's go ahead and put our weapon away hey wait where did the king go um, hey. what's up? I'm assuming he's upstairs. He does have a room here. And I think it's all the way up top. So, I need to find the way all the way up top. Is it this way? Crap. Um, it's gotta be this way. Okay, there we go. Where's the stairs? Let's check over here. Door. Is there another way up? Well, it's gotta be up here somewhere. That's not it. Found it! Ooh la la, King, what are you up to over here? Alright, I'll see you later. What's up, what King? What do you have for me? Uh, Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his client, uh, on his clients and then plays the hero just so that he can potentially frighten them into getting repeat business so that's how it happens yep okay then I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking you've shown me something so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important a lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built in turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Yes. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over to see if they remember anything. Uh, yeah, of course, man. I'll head over there as soon as I as soon as I can, like right now. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Sir, yes, sir. So the good thing is that we've already passed the Mormon place. That's where Otis told us that if we get hurt, the people there can patch us right up. All right, how do I get out of here? This place is so confusing, damn it. All right, found the stairs. Um... How the hell do I get out of here? All right, there we go. Woohoo, made it. All What's right. Up? What's up? To help a king, right? The things we go to uh, through. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. What do you mean, we? How are you selling something? You're not. You're just a child. All right. Old Las Vegas Mormon State Historic Park. All right, all right. Very nice, very nice. Um, where? Who do I talk to? That's just a follower. Um, maybe we should wait till the daytime. Uh, we'll do we'll do eight hours. That way when we wake up, it'll be nice and uh, sunny outside. And hopefully, the person I'm looking for is right there. Yay! Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, you need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Oh, you got yourself a deal then. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Uh, seems like you need a pretty steady supply, man. Not just whatever I can grab for you out of my pockets, man. Is there something I can do to help you out? So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Actually, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Uh, which merchants uh, might be willing to make a deal such so substantial like this? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's. 
Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Okay, well, let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Um. Hi! <laughs> we'll get into conversations with her at some other time. Right now, I want to talk to the people that got beat up. You! What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Uh, so the king asked me to look into your attack. What can you tell me about the whole situation? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, first of all, what can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Gasp! Uh, do you remember anything in particular about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay. I hope you find the bastards that did this. I'll see what if I can do. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. So, little Wayne? Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. What's up, little Wayne? That true? Did the king really send you? Yeah. As a matter of fact, he did. And anything you could tell me about what happened will definitely help me in my investigation to put justice back on the table. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most Freesiders, I guess. That help? No. <laughs> uh, not really, but I guess every little bit helps a little bit, so thank you. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, <laughs> that's what he called him. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. <laughs> he probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. <laughs> Morning. Uh, this is the guy that got attacked? Alright, so what do I have to do? Do I have to go back to the king now? Yeah, return to the king with your findings. Alright. The king is not going to be happy. Lieutenant. Definitely some military structured individuals. So... And there's only one military uh, military organization in the wasteland, isn't there? Long story short... Not even allowed to sell. They're California based. Sorry. New California based. It's all good. We'll see what we could do to put an end to this whole situation. I gotta tell you something, King. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? So, the local men uh, were attacked by some sort of a soldier organization. Uh, one of the men was identified, actually, by the rank of lieutenant. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. <laughs> Alright, so Julie and uh, some homeless people. Alright, and I think they're both on the other side. Damn, this mission is like straight up a lot of back and forth, huh? Alright, let's go talk to Julie since it's literally right here. We've it's already talked to her once it before. Be found it. Make it yes, you said that already, kid. Thank you. I've actually been there before and I've purchased and sold things there. But I appreciate your time. Alright, well, I guess we can exhaust her dialogue here really fast since we gotta talk to her anyways. One of my aides said you got into the Lucky 38. 
If you see someone by the name of Emily near there, we would like you to work for us. Um, things seem pretty rough here in Freeside, doesn't it? More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Gasp! Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. I'm actually working on one of those three right now. Um... Oh, uh, you said something about helping addicts? Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Tell me about uh, Bill Ronte. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Okay. Tell me about Jacob. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. So where should I start looking for them? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Perfect. Uh, I'll see what I can do to help them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Alright, but there's something else I need to talk to you about, though. What do you want to talk about? Uh, if I wanted to calm things down in Freeside, where would I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Okay, so... Uh, well, let's... What is this place? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. So it's just, uh, regional? I wonder where their national headquarters is. What do you do here, anyways? The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here. But the Kings quickly took control of the pump. So, tell me more about the followers. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Um... Uh, I'll get to that question right now. What do you... Uh, let's talk about Freeside. What did you want to know? Uh, what's all the fuss about this water pump? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. Okay. Who are the Kings? They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so. Ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. Makes sense. What can you tell me about uh, the whole shop over there with Milk and Ralph's? Milk? There goes, a, there goes Milk again. I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Hey! In a wasteland like this, especially, they gotta defend themselves some way. If everybody else has guns, how do you expect to defend yourself? 
Uh, tell me about the Van Graffs. Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. Well, I mean, at least they have energy weapons. Definitely sounds like the place I need to go to uh, stock up. Uh, so what's <laughs> what's up with this Atomic Wrangler? I heard that's the naughty place. A den of iniquity. The Garrets do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. Their thugs, on the other hand, they keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? Yeah, I makes sense. Uh, alright. What did... For the big question, what can you tell me about the NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Um... Can you tell me anything else about them? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's good. Uh, all right, let's go. Good day. Looks like I didn't have to talk to the homeless man. So let's go ahead. Hold on real quick. Morning. You. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Uh... What kind of research do you do? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. <laughs> Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. This dude is smart as hell. So what's the goal of the whole experimentations? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Yeah. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. Makes sense, makes sense. But you don't sound too enthusiastic about it. Why is that? I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. The fuck did you just say? Uh, is isn't that what Caesar's legions say? Say, Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. That definitely reminds me of a of a biblical scripture. It's, uh, the devil can cite scripture to 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 reach his purpose or something like that. Clearly, that's a uh, not on that. Um. So where did you learn that anyways? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Got it, makes sense. Do you know much about Caesar? Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers, before my time. No way. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Makes sense. So, can you go back to the whole Nini what the... Oh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. If Agave and Mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Alright. Certainly. Uh, why do you do research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. This dude, uh, has very low self-confidence. Why don't you come with me, buddy? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Uh... Bye. See you around. <laughs> All right. Looks like I can't get him as a as a companion. I think I have to raise his raise the followers of the apocalypse uh, 
fame. All right, what am I, what am I doing? Hold on. Uh. Well, let's go. Actually, yeah, let's go to the squatters really quick. I think it's over here. See what we can learn from them. It is optional at this point, but it won't hurt to to just get a little bit more information, get a better picture of the whole situation. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Hey, I found uh, a. What the fuck? Why am I moving in slow motion? No, damn it! Oh god. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um. Let's go ahead and reload. I think I broke my game. <clears throat> Let's be ready, because clearly there's going to be an attack here. Or maybe we should just let Boone take care of him. Or maybe... I will take care of him. Oh my... No, you let me take care of him, alright? Uh, this has 26. Got him. I don't think that was me who killed him. It's okay, though. I still got XP for it. Let's go. Nini Huna Husale, whatever the hell he said. Alright. Are you the squatter I am looking for? You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Um, yes. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. What? Is that okay with you? Um, sure? That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Ah, uh, fuck. This is... This is gonna be a pain. I want to say... I want to say it was... Tandy. Wasn't that from... Fallout 1? I'm gonna guess uh -huh. that. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Oh, that one's easy. Shady Sands, of course. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? A giraffe. I'm just kidding. It's a two-headed bear, of course. Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Thank you. That That's it? <coughs> Excuse me. So that was kind of a waste. I'm actually pretty surprised that I got the answers right. The first one was the only one that was tough. I couldn't remember because Kimball, if I remember correctly, Kimball is the president now. And then Tandy was the, was the girl, I believe. Wait, where am I going? Do I have to go around? I think I have to go around here, right? I don't know. I always get confused. I want to say, hold on. I want to say it's around the corner, although it kind of feels like it's telling me to go that way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over here. More like I hope it's over here. Yeah, there they are. It's got to be them. Hello. Hello. Okay, so this requires key. Hold up. What's the password? 
Uh, Nini Hootie Hootsule. <laughs> I'm here to see Major Cur Urgent Business. Please let me pass. If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. I mean, I have other ways to get in there, but I wanted the XP. <laughs> here you go. I hope this helps. Look at all these people. Hey. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Oh, thank you. You're sweet. I appreciate it. So you're with the NCR military, I'm assuming? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Ah, uh, makes sense. Well, I mean, first things first, thank you for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. Anybody? Yes? Was there something else you needed? Anybody? Does that mean even non-NCR? I don't know. Do you serve food to the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Nope, that answers my question. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Uh, yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't be served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. She's a sweetheart, dude. There's no way they're attacking the locals. Yes? Was there something else you needed? And she's a major. Uh, let me see. So why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Well, so Julie Farkas actually told me to ask. Uh, she said it was pretty important. You know Julie? Yeah. Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Wow, that's... Interesting developments. So now we gotta inform the king. Uh, let me see. Optional. Inform the king that the NCR previously sent an envoy to discuss distir uh, distributing supplies to Freeside. Uh, but the main part is return to the king and inform him of the NCR supply drops. All right. Well, it sounds like if I don't tell him about the supply drops, he's gonna be misinformed or at least not fully informed so we're gonna go ahead and do the optional portion of this because i think it's pretty important because it doesn't sound like the king ever knew about these supply drops that they were actually going to be going to all of freeside not just the ncr people so who knows maybe we could squash all the beef right here right then right basically right here so let's see uh okay well, yeah we have to go to the opposite side so, I wish this was all one area, but I guess uh, old hardware like on the PS3 couldn't handle such a big area, you know? Alright, let's go. Hey, King, King, I got something to tell you. Where the hell did what's-his-name go? Alright, I got something to tell you, buddy. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Yep. They said... Soldier boy up in this hole. Okay, anyways. Um, uh, so the NCR is distributing supplies in a building uh, down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Um, they're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens? Ah. That would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Uh, okay, there, here it is. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you, though. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Yeah, they said a man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Wait, what's going on? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? 
There's a shootout going down near the train station. Oh, snap. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Uh, all right. I mean, fuck. What the hell is Pacer doing? Personal space meaning anything to that you That explains guys? why he just ran out out of nowhere. All right, well, we could go that way and take the little door, but I'm going to go this way since it's literally just right here. <clears throat> if it can be bought, I hope I don't have to kill Pacer, but Pacer's a problem, dude. We got to take care of Pacer. Oh, I can hear him. Pacer, you moron. They're a military. You're just a gang. A small-time gang at that. You get destroyed, man. If the NCR wanted to send everybody over here, you'd be done. Speak of the devil, look at all these dead freaking... Oh, God. Pacer, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the hell are you? I, got... I want to take this, though. Uh, I'll take the rounds. Jailhouse rocker. I'm going to take... As many as I can find, only because... I want to repair. Wait. Can you guys stop shooting at me for a second, please? I have business. You there. Keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. I got no weapon. I, I would raise my hands if I could, but it's a game. NCR Trooper. Is that Julie? Hey. Hey, Elizabeth. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? So... The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Um, about that. It actually wasn't... That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Good. Good, 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 good. Pacer is a moron. Look at him. Look at him. Tuck and tail. What's the mission now, anyways? Um, return to the king and let him know the situation with the NCR has been diffused. All right, that's good. Um, where's that jailhouse rocker? Let's go ahead and uh. Woohoo! You ain't none but a hound dog. That's such a good song, by the way. Um, <laughs> Pacer, you moron. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Um, it just happened, Pacer. I think he. I think that was the line he was supposed to say. If we decided to take a detour there, he ended up, and we ended up talking to him at the uh, the school of impersonation. All right, let's go. The king's going to be happy that it's done, but upset that probably a few people are of his people are dead now. Thanks to Pacer's incompetence. All right, let's go. Mr. King, I have some good news for you. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. Agreed. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. If I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Ooh. All right, let me see here. Um, so energy weapons is all the way up. What else could we use? I mean, we could always use medicine. Uh, medicine. Repair sounds like a good idea, too. Let's put this to 45. And we'll put the rest into medicine. There we go. Let's see what this does. Nothing. All right. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Um, this building is pretty interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell some sort of religious institution 
Oh, I know it's their school out front, <laughs> but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Well, what else can you tell me more about him? Not a whole lot to tell. <clears throat> there were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. Oh, I know that answer. His name is Elvis. Um, is that where you got your name from? Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow. And I still <laughs> have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. That's cool. So, if this was, as a matter of fact, a school, as you say, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Oh, okay. Uh, is that why, is that what you guys do? Pretend to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working <laughs> tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> All right. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Let's see here. Where did you get that robot dog? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Nice. Uh, is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything about that? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. But he's going to be okay though, right? For now. But they said eventually... He's gonna get worse. I don't know what to do. Oh no, can I do something to help? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, what can you tell me about Freeside? I understand Freeside, you have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families, and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while, but we wanted more. A place of our own, a place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is. The best of a bad situation. Oh, okay. Uh, well, tell me more about the Kings. We're different than other gangs. Not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The Kings are about an idea, you see. Where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. Where every man is a king in his own right. All right. Uh... Can I join? Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve. And I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around. And if you play your cards right, things might change. Ooh, I want to join. Uh, so why isn't everybody in Freeside in your gang then? We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Okay. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Uh... So what can you tell me about Pacer? Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. 
He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Uh, who are the important people here in Freeside? There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. <laughs> Who all did you want to know about? Uh, well, tell me about Julie Farkas. Julie represents the followers of the Apocalypse. They're a group that tries to help people out whenever they can, so we get along just fine. If you ever need to get patched up, one of their docks will have your right as rain in no time flat. They sell supplies, too, or used to. Heard they were having trouble bringing stuff in or keeping up with the demand or something lately. Did you want to know about anyone else? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the Garrett twins would be nice. Them twins run the Atomic Wrangler, the only working casino here in Freeside. It's become pretty much the place to go around these parts. Give it a whirl when you've got some time. Now, was there anyone else you wanted to know about? Uh, so who are these Van Graffs? They're a family-run <sighs> business from out west that deal in weapons, mostly. A word of caution, though, they're not a friendly bunch. Not at all. Their store is just past the Wrangler and sells all kinds of fancy weapons that most people around here can't afford. Anyone else you wanted to know about? Uh... So, so what's the skinny on Mick and Ralph's? Mick and Ralph sell all sorts of things at a small store over by the East Gate. They've done all right by us, and they'll do all right by you. You want to know about anyone else? Probably not, actually. I think that's everybody. Sure thing. What you have in mind? All right, let me see. Uh, well, about that favor you owe me. Ask away. Oh, I could join the Kings. I already found a way in there. I don't need money. Well, I mean, I could use money, but I, I, I can make money elsewhere. Um. Yeah, let's join the Kings. Fuck it. Why not? Normally, we don't let outsiders join, but I think I can make an exception in your case. I like one of the guys spread the word. From this day forward, you're one of us, and no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. Hell yeah. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours, talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. Hell yeah. King's outfit? Let's see here. Uh, so I have the jailhouse rocker and the king's outfit. Which one's the king's outfit, though? Let me see. Oh, it's that one. That one's actually pretty cool. Uh, then the jailhouse rocker. I think that one I like better, to be honest. But I definitely prefer this one. Isn't the dog supposed to come with me? Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. Um, I guess not. Or do I have to talk to him? Um... All right, we'll probably do that in the next video, though, because we're pretty much at that hour mark. I freaking love New Vegas, man. It's probably one of my favorite Fallout games uh, out there. Number two, probably only to Fallout 3. And I've said that numerous amount of times, only because Fallout 3 has that nostalgia factor. It was my first Fallout game. And I don't think anything is going to be able to take away from that. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Why are you Deuces.